Hello everybody, Sift here again with another Souls and Survivors run. And today we'll be doing a run with the Paladin. He is a defensive class, irrelevant. We're gonna use a Singularity Room. Skills can now pick up multi. You can pick up the same skill multiple times. And uh, also the reroll mastery rune. So every five levels we're gonna get the reroll. So we can control what rune uh, skills we're gonna get. And also the dash mastery uh, for bigger dashes because I don't have. Uh, other points to use for something actually useful and uh, now we're gonna play in the highest difficulty possible because this is going to be the best build in the game possible like the highest dps build in the game so uh yeah let's get to it right away as you see we have every single chris active and let's run into this and um see if we can actually get the skills we want which uh, it's one skill we literally want only one skill otherwise why would we take the singularity rune and that skill is uh, i don't know what it's called <laughs> let's forget the is called and let's just go with it. it's the laser that does br apply brittle uh, then when we're finding it, when we're gonna find it, I'm gonna explain why this is so busted and also why we want that specific skill. Now, um, yeah, until that happens, we're just sitting around here trying to avoid that awesome and uh, well-designed. And <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We're gonna just avoid this ghost that one-shots you if you're too close. Yeah, crit supply bleed. I'm gonna take that as uh, we will be debuffing opponents. Like that is going to be part of the build. So uh, and also we will be critting opponents anyway. The only reason why you wouldn't want to take a debuff is if you don't actually want to apply debuffs. Otherwise, you just take them. Uh, if you play with purity, that is. But we're not playing with purity, so there's that. Let's continue going around. I really hope that at some point we're gonna get, uh, like, five more room points. Because right now, with only uh, ten, you can do so little with the Singularity Rune. Level up. Here it is, Light Beam. This is literally what I want. Fire second, by the way, we got it right away. Fire second, continuous beam in the direction you're aiming at, dealing three up to 350 damage to enemies in the area and applying Brittle. Brittle is the key point here. Increase target skill cooldown by 1%, which is a bit irrelevant, like it makes them attack a lot slower, which is good, of course. Makes opponents just slow. And increases all damage taken by 1% by one flat not percent flat one so if you have this like six times it apply every time they hit they increase this thing by six and the thing is that whenever you increase this thing's damage this has also a chance to increase like if, if this uh, if you do 100 percent or 150 percent more damage this is gonna start applying two uh, damage debuffs on opponents and this just goes out of hand completely right like especially when the lasers start applying three more damage or four more damage or five more damage taken per hit and all of these lasers are already multi-attack hits anyway so they just all abuse the same mechanic again again as you can see i have only one laser and i already am applying like 13 stacks of brittle so imagine having six of them and instead of them applying uh, one stack at a time they apply five stacks at a time uh, it can go out of hand really quickly so that, that's pretty much the whole build and the whole idea around this build now hopefully we're gonna actually get this build going right because right now we are still in the, that part of the game where we're playing in higher difficulties let's go with area actually area is really important for this build we need the laser to cover a lot of area none of these of course let's roll and our light beam very nice we got our second one right away not like yesterday where we're doing the spin to win 50 percent cooldown very nice 50 percent damage very nice uh, not like yesterday when we're doing the spin to win hopefully cards are gonna appear top right where uh we literally were not finding the spin to wins uh i could go for a smite or a might let's continue rolling i could also go for an arcane beam let's roll a bit more okay from here on out i'm gonna stop rolling Let's hopefully find... Uh, we're gonna get a Might. Let's go 15% more damage. I'm gonna try to, you know, not waste... Let's go movement speed. Not waste my uh, my rerolls and then just happen to be completely, uh, you know, left in the middle of nowhere with a random skill I don't really want. At least Might is something, you know. It, it increases our damage by 50%. 50% attack speed. Very nice. Very nice. Of course, we do need to get attack speed so that we have a permanent laser going on all the time, every time. So uh, that's good, as I will definitely not pick up any other type of skill. I won't be picking up any... Oh, we're fighting the Chaos Elite here. Not, not Elite, like Survivor or whatever these guys are called. I think they're called Survivors. And uh, honestly, I don't even want to go over to the top and try to find the pillar. I just want to continue here. No, that, that's bad. Uh, I guess might for healing. Let's reroll maybe. Exorcism, what is this? Expel a wave, a light around you, dealing 420 damage and healing yourself for 0 0.6 for each enemy hit. I guess, I guess, a bit of healing here in the beginning, just not lose. Level up, it's good armor, I would say. Dash away from there. I guess having a bit of healing isn't really that bad, like, I think it's pretty good to have some kind of healing. Level up, uh, multicast one of the lasers, yes, of course, one, of, one, one, one random of one of those lasers now has crazy multicast. Level up, final light beam, very nice, and the build is almost ready. Lethality is a definite yes. This is completely useless for us, I should never ever even think about taking this. I'm gonna go 5% damage on everything. I should never ever take that, like never. Uh, it's just for one little tick of all my spells. And of course we don't want these, and now we're gonna start using these rerolls. So we're gonna 
choose these. And when this is not a good choice, for right now it's, for example, a very good choice, I will use these. Two defense is also good. But I will only use these when I have the choice for specifically weapons. I don't know if you are aware, so I'm just gonna say, whenever you have the choice to actually get a new skill, the, um, the game, let's go movement speed here, the game just decides, uh, gives you two choices. Like, for example, right now I have three skills to choose, right? By the way, Magic Missile is also good, applies brittle, but not as fast as this thing does. So, for example, I have three skills right now. If I go passives, I, this is a perfect example. I don't want this, I don't want this, I don't want this. So, if I reroll now, I get the choice for a skill again. And I don't want these either, so I can go back and do the passives. And here we're gonna go, of course, with Aerie on Holy. You see, this is the double dipping on uh, the rerolls, which is very strong in my opinion. Uh oh, <laughs> that lag spike was so dangerous. Bleed applies poison. I could go for 10% more damage on everything, honestly. Um, yeah, I think 10% more damage on everything is more important to me. But definitely no, definitely no. We're gonna go with magnetic field. I want to keep my rerolls for when I have the chance to reroll skills alongside passives. Now, some would say, but Sift, so you're supposed to use the rerolls for specifically passives, man. What are you doing? Yeah, I actually need to get my brittle build going. This, this build is really reliant on having everything ready. We roll. None of these. Let's roll this. Uh, pick up, both of these are decent. Let's get movement speed. This character has an issue with movement speed, and movement speed is definitely something you need to fix in this game. We have done a run before, and we know for a fact that movement speed is really, really useful for surviving. Like, one of the most useful things for actually surviving in this game. 3% movement speed, very nice. And now, um, yeah, I think now we're gonna be moving fast enough for this to be worth it. Let's go 16 resistance. Let's run up to some pillars here, just get rid of them. Um, yeah, that pillar's toast, very nice. In general, whenever I focus target something, it should die pretty fast-ish, because we're applying all those stacks of brittle, and opponents can't really handle it. I mean, look at the 60-something stacks of brittle. Look at the damage just scaling through the roof real quick there. That's pillar's toast too. Let's run to the next one. And of course, we have the issue of if I'm not done with this run within, um, I don't know how much time. Uh, we don't want any of these, let's re-roll. I'm gonna say none of these, to be honest, let's re-roll. Uh, none of these, of course, that's not any laser. Once again, none of these, let's roll. Uh, yeah, we're gonna continue flip-flopping. Oh, also still boring stuff. None of these, and you know, at the end of the day, we're gonna go with attacks pretty much. So, uh, th that's how we're gonna use the rerolls, by the way, like, literally. If, if I don't find a god-like item when I'm doing these weird rerolls, then I'm just gonna not go for it. Of oh, these, uh, the pushbacks mechanics, I think we're having some... Thing chasing us. Damage of one of those lasers, that's definitely a yes. As uh, the moment one of these lasers gets a lot of damage, it will start applying double, triple, brittle. So it's really important to actually increase their damage. Uh, especially when it applies more brittle. 200% movement speed, as I said, that's really important too. Uh, the faster we move, the faster, the, more, the less I will need the dodges specifically to dodge. And the more I can just, you know, exist and move around. Can we get this done? No. I also don't have enough lasers right now. Like the first thing I need to throw away, I would say, is my simple attack. Reroll. Uh, Holy Fire is a no. Actually, all of these are a no. And here we go. Frontal attacks get area 40% area. This is also really good, but 40% area is really, really good. I want to be able to cover, like, literally the whole stage. And in case you don't know how area works on the lasers, wherever the laser itself hits, that is where the area gets spawned. Now, the area is not visible itself. Like, uh, it just is that everything around where the laser hits, it gets also hit. That, that's how it works. Without any visual indication of it, with, without anything actually showing about that. Uh, I'm gonna go with Doom, let's apply some debuffs and 15% damage. None of these, of course, let's reroll. Uh, I do want these, these are decent-ish. Let's get XP gain, to be honest, uh, that's decent-ish. Let's go with size. Alright, let's go attack speed, very nice, very nice. Uh, I do enjoy that we're healing here. I really do enjoy that we have the ability to heal this much. And uh, we definitely want to get more lasers, man. This, this, the, we're still not applying enough brittle for this to be powerful enough. And we're still st struggling with the first set of bosses. So I don't see us entering the actual infinite with five life, which is a bit sad to say the least. Level up, crit, champ, crit damage. And uh, yeah, I think we got them all. I think we got them. And this is even only the first set of bosses. We will, of course, enter the other infinite. The... let's go. Nah. Yeah, none of these. We roll. Duration of... no, no, no. Area on everything. 50% area on everything is decent -ish. Decent enough to not go for another spell, I would say. Let's go here. Level up. This magnet is worth it, 10% damage is also worth it. I'm slowly scaling. I definitely want to scale a lot faster if I can do so, but it's not under my command. It's whatever the, the game decides to give us. One of these, we roll. Uh, honestly, I will roll for a new spell. Didn't find it. Okay, definitely area on frontal attacks, magnetism. Oh, that was a lag spike right there because we're into the next bosses. Which, uh, theoretically, we should be clearing out faster than the previous ones. 
I would say let's go with poison as we don't have a poison yet. And uh, we will take it at some point anyway, so might as well take it now. Yeah, I see that. I see the slammer hammer. Uh, the definite issue here with the build is that I need to apply a bunch of stacks of a bunch of things. And I also need to get fragility. Like, fragility is one of the better things that I need to do. And we found a light beam. Very nice. Uh, I would say let's throw away my base attack. I definitely want to keep the healing going. <laughs> right now it is a bit important to still continue healing. And it's also really important to get my cooldown to a point where it literally all the time, every single laser is firing, firing all the time. And I think that's a 5 second cooldown. It's still at 6.5, so right now not everything is active all the time. So uh, there's that, I guess. I think the next thing I would like to throw away would be Might. Uh, not, I'm not sure if it even makes sense to throw away Might, though. I'm thinking about it. I'm 50-50 about it. I'm 50-50 about it being Might or being the heal. I mean, there isn't any other choice. Those are the two choices we have. Level up. Uh, I'm going to say attack speed once again. We definitely, definitely want to have 5 second cooldown on every single level, uh, every single laser of ours. Because that is how we maintain every single la laser active all the time, every time, every second. And just do some damage. Now, uh, I think the main thing I should do, regardless of bosses, is getting to this corner here and just killing non-bosses. Because uh, that is how we're going to spawn more bosses, right? And uh, that, that's the main issue. We want to spawn bosses. We don't care specifically about killing them. We will care about killing them after, you know, we have spawned them all. So uh, that we get the time going. Of course, as I said, there is a very good chance we're not going to be enter able to enter the Super Endless. Uh, but it is what it is if it doesn't happen. Uh, and uh, we will enter Endless, but the boring one is what I'm trying to say here. Level up. Uh, I'm going to say let's go with attack speed once again. Still trying to get that attack speed going. And uh, I would really like to get fragility right now. That is really important to me too. Right this moment. Level up. 15% area. That's really good. Uh, the more area we get, by the way, the more coverage we have. And the more coverage we have, uh, the more we hit everything all the time without even trying to. And that's the that's the idea here. That we just want to, all the time, every time, every second, wherever we attack, something gets hit, something gets destroyed, something gets debuffed. Just everything happens all the time about everything. Level up. None of these, of course. Let's roll. Ooh, area on holy. We're gonna take that. I saw the defense there as a choice. But as I said, area is really important. We want to be covering everything. Damage on frontal, very, very, very good. And at this point, now they apply three brittle. You see, now that they apply three brittle per second, pretty much, yeah, that's exponential damage right there. And I just need, now I just need, as I said, fragility. If I can apply fragility, we're gonna be good to go. Good to go. Uh, we are at eight minutes in. I I don't know how many bosses we have. I think we spawned the tr the third set of bosses, so we're good to go. These are trash. I'm gonna roll this. Uh, 24 armor. That that's definitely <laughs> very important, and uh, it's gonna prevent us from getting one shot, which is important. Level up. None of these, to be honest. I see the fragility, but honestly, I'm gonna go for a spell. Let's roll these. Uh, this is a definite no. Let's roll these too. Uh, this is also no-ish. And none of these once again. And multicast holy, that's actually good. And I don't have that much multicast, to be honest. And multicast is also important for this build. Uh, I'm, th I'm thinking even about throwing away the might for multicast. But I'm not exactly sure about that. Uh, this I can reroll this, I have money. Multicast 6%, very nice. And multicast is... Ooh, here we go. Now the build is a go. Now the build is a go. Now the build is an actual go. I can't really dash away. Yeah, now we're, now we're actually doing damage, because now the moment I double or triple multicast, just everything gets melted. So now I just hope that we're going to be able to get those kills in time, because I really am now full on. Let's go damage on area. Let's go. Let's go. Area. Wait a minute. No, why did I take that? These two are area. No, that was such a bad choice. Where was damage on last thing, man? I hate the fact that these two are both area and we happen to roll a thing that uh, are not the four lasers. Come on, man. Come on. That was so unlucky. Multicast one of the lasers. That was so unlucky. I'm not saying it's the game's fault, okay? I'm saying it's my reading comprehension and my realization that, you know, the second I picked it, the second I picked it, I realized that, nope, that, that was not what you wanted. <laughs> that was not what you wanted. Level up. Uh, lethality for sure, 10% crit chance, that's also good. But as you can see, we start melting things. So I'm really, 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 really eager right now to get into the true endless, the powerful endless, the one that is actually, you know, extremely dangerous, quote unquote. But if I can just melt everything, nothing is dangerous. You know, when everything dies in one hit, <laughs> nothing uh, scares you. And uh, that is my, uh, you know, plan in all of these games anyway. Level up. None of these, reroll. Uh, none of these, definitely. We roll. Yes, another light beam. Uh, we're gonna throw away might, I would say. This healing is still saving us from a lot of things. 
So we're gonna just, just gonna throw away might and uh, we're gonna stick to the healing. So we have something here to maybe protect us from something and then the next thing we're gonna throw away is the healing of course as you know that's the, the last thing we have by definition. Now as you saw the new brittle we got is also level 8. <laughs> Let's quick speed game. Uh, so as you can understand, we're uh, we are very 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 powerful, and every single Brit we find just just scales through the roof. We got hit for 144. That is why we picked up the armor, man. This could have easily been like a million. I'll just get those gems. Start healing. There is a good chance we're gonna die here from that 144 attack if I take another one. Let's go for XP again, of course. So uh, let's maybe try to somehow avoid it. I mean, I'm assuming that this guy does chaos damage, so it's pretty random what he does to us, damage wise. And uh, man, we actually got through the bosses. Didn't I tell you that we want to mainly f summon them and then getting them down is going to happen? Yeah, th this is what's happening right now. Like, uh, we, we, we are spawning bosses and they're just uh, melting. We rolled here. 30 movement speed is really good. I'm gonna definitely take that. Uh, th that's how we're using this. Like, if, if none of those were good, then we would have rerolled to try to find our brittle. Otherwise, we won't. And honestly, now that I realize this, like, I was thinking about, oh, I'm not gonna take rerolls. I didn't even have rerolls there. I'm not gonna take the reroll rune, I'm gonna take some kind of damage rune. Why would I reroll when I can just straight up do more damage? Well, the, the fact of the matter is that if you reroll, you can increase your damage. <laughs> like, if you use the rerolls to actually increase your damage, then you can increase your damage. I'm trying to get here one kill at a time. Alpha Red is chasing us down. And Alpha Red is uh, not dead yet. I haven't gotten a single application. Oh, I don't have Brittle applying. I need to get the thing that applies Brittle, man. What am I doing? It's gonna increase my damage exponentially. None of these for sure. Let's roll. Arian Frontal. Thank you, game, for once. <laughs> Thank you, game, for once. And uh, we have, I think, three more minutes time to get all those bosses down. One of them is toast already. Two of them is gonna get toasted in a bit. Uh, I'm, at least I'm trying, you know, with all this area damage we're doing. We should be hitting them. Because I would also like to get like some kind of dodge that would be really helpful and safe, you know. And um, yeah, we got another two of these. Very nice. You're dead. Ah, actually, not yet. What is this madness? What is this madness? Level up. None of these. Uh, well, I guess we're gonna go with a crit pretty much as we're forced here. And um, yeah, I need to get at least one stack of brittle man. I need to start applying those brittle stacks so opponents get more damage. And we won. We won, and we shall enter now the actually true endless. The the one where bosses spawn after bosses. 20 area, very nice. The more area we got, the better. I just want the laser to hit like a wall, and if it hits the wall, everything dies. In general, I think this is by far the most busted build. Um, as long as I can continue these stacks. 2, 2, 3, 2, 2. Uh, I was counting how many stacks of brittle everything applies. Level up. Uh, poison applies doom, that's a definite yes. I mean, it's free damage. I need to find Frost applies Fragility. I'm not even applying Frost, like, get Fragility. I think I'm not applying Frost, right? Uh, can I see the bottom corner? Yeah, I don't see any Frost debuff. And we found the final last beam, so we're gonna take this. Now my healing is done. I can no longer heal, so that means we will slowly start losing lives, you know? Uh, by the way, as you can see, I'm ca I can attack whenever I, wherever I want, and most of the things get hit anyway. Expansive 50% area, exactly. Like, I can be here and hit this wall, and everything around us gets hit. Uh, that's pretty much how you're supposed to, I guess, play this. Not exactly play this, but <laughs> that's how it works. Uh, let's get Poison Chance. Although I already have it, it's, it's still free damage. And free damage is always good. <laughs> you thought we were gonna shoot out lasers? Nope, <laughs> we're hitting the wall. 36 crit damage, and that's always good too. The more damage we do, of course, the better we are going to be off here. Level up. Lethality, where are we? 50%, we're gonna take that. For 60%, it's gonna increase our damage even further. Just hit everything that we want. And let's see how we're gonna fare against bosses. Let's not forget about this guy. Oh, seems like when you're far away from him, he speeds up. But when he starts coming closer and closer and closer, he slows down. Look how slow he is. If you're not moving, he's also not moving. Level up. Multicast. Let's go. Let's go. 48%. So that means we literally just got... Not literally. Like, theoretically, we almost just got another six brittle beams on, on top of everything else we have. 10% uh, crit chance is definitely a go. And... Uh, yeah, more XP, more XP. Level up. These are mediocre, so we're gonna reroll. You see, that's why we use it. This is useless. We're not gonna, ah, let's, let's go area. Let's not reroll this much. Reroll, none of these, of course. 10% damage, that sounds good. Especially when I get all of these to a stack, two stacks. Let's go with area, I would say. I wanna get these all to do two stacks of brittle. That's what I'm waiting for. Hey, look, it's the first set of bosses. Let's see how we're gonna fare against them. Um, honestly, I need to apply for <laughs> I need to get fragility stacks application. The difference is gonna be huge with the fragilities because look how fast we're attacking. Like, can you see these guys have like 400 stacks of poison? Uh, I guess indomitable. 
So these guys have 400 stacks of poison, like 300 stacks. Yeah, the 300 stacks of doom is actually the the main thing here. The, the takeaway. Woo! 50% dairy on magical. That's literally everything, of course. Everything is everything. Every time something says it applies to all of one, it's all of them. Like, all, I have literally only one spell, so all of them are the same effect. Level up. Area effect on frontal. I'm gonna take this. I see this. I'm gonna take this. Uh, we will go with attack speed because we still have not gotten the cooldown to a point where I'm good with it. I'm okay with it. I'm gonna take the freeze here. So now I'm gonna banish the freeze because we got freeze once. Now I want to get, you know, freeze applies brittle, which applies more <laughs> brittle more often than the actual brittle effect. So <laughs> let's take those and look how the bosses melt. Just want freeze applies brittle main. Can I take that? If I find that, we're gonna be so good to go. Level up. I mean, look at this. We're already playing 344 prints. Well, I'm gonna go with 3% damage and everything, as that's gonna... has a chance to give us... Yeah, and look at this. Now everything applies three stacks of brittle. So, phew, madness. Uh, and definitely none of these. They are mediocre. They are... Let's go. We got a lot of survivability through that. That's the, one of the most survivability giving. Passives, multicast, another 48%. I see the 15% here. Weakness, perfect. We won. We won. This, this, this is the god item. So, uh, whenever I crit, which is... Almost every th every time, I cr whenever I crit even once, it instantly activates. You know, all of these are going to crit at some point. <laughs> you know, we're attacking so many times so often. Uh, the, we apply wound and the wound makes it so that the debuffs uh, apply 50% of the time double. So it's just straight up 50% more debuffs. So now we're going to be applying literally 50% more brittle than we normally were doing. So th this is just madness. We, we straight up just got madnessed. Hypothermia, we now also apply fragility. 20% um, of our attacks apply fragility because... And also more fragility. It's over. It's over. It's over. We, we just we just got broken. We just got broken. Like nothing is even remotely close to being able to survive now, uh, especially bosses. Uh, poor bleed applies poison. Honestly, no. I'm gonna find this maybe later. We're gonna go through some crit damage here. Why not? Uh, crit the damage applies on everything. Like even debuffs can crit. Everything can crit. So uh, yeah, that, that's crit damage. That's damage on everything. Uh, may maybe not on the how many stacks for Biddle we apply. Behemoth, 45 life, very nice. Protecting our, um, you know, ourselves from getting one shot. Area of effect on frontal, definitely yes. As I said, area is really important. Uh, because it's an invisible wall. Look at the left, look at the left. Do you see the guy on the left? Do you see how they're getting hit right now? That's how area works. Like, uh, this is where the area st sp stops, starts at. This over here. And I guess it goes up to this point a bit behind me. So I want this to be global. Uh, crits apply bleed or damage. <laughs> We're gonna go with damage. Uh, apply three stacks, still apply three stacks. Because the more damage we get, uh, it's it's double dipping. Let's go multi-chance on one of them. Like, getting damage is literally double dipping. As, uh, what is actually happening is that, uh, not only do they actually get damage, you know, the dealing up to 854 damage, not only that is happening, but they also increase the brittle debuff. And that is the main crazy part, that, uh, it's just busted just busted as you see i am in the highest difficulty possible and the highest difficulty in the game and uh, yeah i don't see us having any issues look at the boss just melting level up i'm gonna go with let's not die <laughs> i'm gonna go with the blue option of immortality this guy's toast hey look at these guys look at their life look at their life Boom. and they're just done and it's done and it's done everything's done everything's gone i'm gonna say damage before everything else i'm gonna say 12 defense these are mediocre, let's roll them. Yeah, now I can take bleed poisons. You know, now I can take bleed poisons. And, uh, yeah, I'll just continue. Not that bleed poisons is something powerful. But still, you know, it is what it is. The thing I don't know is if brittle debuffs makes it so that opponents also get more damage from poison and everything else. Do I have the poison debuff? I'm pretty sure I have it somewhere. Uh, you know what, let's just take the multicast and not think about it. <laughs> that was like a full-on pause there. <laughs> I don't, I'm sorry for the pause. <laughs> That's It's always weird, man. But I'm like, I'm not talking. I feel like I have to always talk. No, Sift, you don't have to always talk. Nope, I have. I love it. I love describing whatever is happening. We're spin to winning. Hey, look, the tree of death. This, this is what that is. Light beam, let's go. <laughs> I'm kidding. Let's roll these. Uh, none of these guaranteed. Let's roll. Uh, resilience 12. The 16 is decent ish. What's my, where my defense is at? 36% damage taken, 27% chance to take nothing. Um, yeah, let's go fragility applies. Uh, you know, just, just take all these debuffs just so we have them. Crit applies bleed or something was what that was. I don't know why I said the word fragility. Hey, look, bosses. Are the bosses gonna survive long enough? Am I actually gonna... I think I just got sniped. Swift, let's go! Let's go! I don't know how many dashes you can actually find, by the way. But I have to actually say that it's true. 
These real damage on last thing, let's go! It's true that um, dashing, not dashing, the reroll rune is really good. Let's go with XP again. Uh, I should have banished the freeze, by the way. The reroll rune is really good because you can, you do actually get more damage through the fact that you have more choices. When something is trash, you just reroll them away. And instead of getting like 5% more damage, you might find 40% damage on everything. For example, these are mediocre, I'm just gonna reroll them away. Uh, these are also mediocre, but at least I can banish the ice, and we're gonna go frailty, you see? As simple as that. So I, I wasted one, so it's as if the rune slot just traded, I don't know, five range for one fragility debuff stacking. So that, it's good, it's good. And that does make a difference in the long run. Uh, I'm gonna go here. <laughs> I, I don't want to make one of my lasers have a, a bit of a faster attack speed, <laughs> they're all gonna be out of whack. I do enjoy that they're all just firing at the same time. Look how fast we're just melting bosses. Damage on frontal, let's go! 40% damage on frontal attacks. Look at the meltiness. Look at the meltiness. Meltiness, that's a thing. <laughs> Level up. Brittle stacks, four brittle stacks. Four, four. Uh, I'm gonna say we roll these, honestly. Let's roll the damage on last thing. Let's go! Let's go, let's go. We are busted. And the moment we start stacking five brittle stacks, it's gonna go through the roof even more. Just the damage that doesn't stop ever. Now, of course, I will get one shot at some point. 10% damage, that's decent-ish. Let's continue. And 45% damage on one of these is also good. Because if that one laser gets one more brittle per hit, yeah, that, that's already good enough. Uh, because it is a multi-hit attack, right? And it can also, not it can, it will guaranteed multicast at least once, sometimes twice. Sometimes three times, sometimes four times. <laughs> um, level up. Ah, 10% attack speed, that's decent. Five second cooldown on this. I'm not sure if these, this actually lasts five seconds, like the laser itself. Level up, none of these, of course. 10% damage, that's also good. Of course there is better than 10% damage, but I'm, I'm keeping my rerolls in the in the back for uh, for when we get, you know, 5% damage, 5% crit chance, 5% AB. Uh oh, Ooh, that was, that was the dashes, man. That was the dashes saving us. That was the dash saving us. Let's go movement speed, of course. 30% movement speed, that's always good. Hopefully my PC is not gonna fry. And we got them all. Wow. Wow, just wow how powerful we are. This is this is insane, and I love it. Escape the void and go deeper. Let's, let's not make a mistake with the portals, of course. And let's continue. Let me remind you that we are on the highest difficulty possible. And let us go. And we're even speedrunning this. 27 minutes in. Opponents have, like, everything, and this also... There was a rock, I got stuck. 12 da armor? Where are we with the block? 36% chance to take zero damage. I think block is the most important thing. Of course, armor is also good, but armor is only useful if you have a lot of life. Uh, block is useful always. Uh, like, even if you take 90% less damage, if the opponents do 10,000 damage, I will get one shot. While uh, damage on frontal, let's go! While uh, in the meantime, if, if opponents do a million damage and I have 90% armor, there is a good chance I'm not gonna die. You know, that's why armor is better. Or, or if I have one life, an opponent do 100 damage. Armor is not gonna save us. But, you know, defense is. Oops, and crit chance. Block chance, I guess, is. So, uh, by the way, I'm saying that this is the better infinite. Uh, because of the fact that um, we fight bosses faster and faster and faster. Now, if you want to specifically do a busted build and just farm your character up. And just, you know, create, get a bunch of levels and just completely break the game. You have to go to the other endless. As the other endless provides you with more XP. And uh, in general, it's slower. No, none of these, of course. Um, none of these either, to be honest. Let's go area. Let's, let's continue with increasing the area. I want to be able to hit whatever from wherever. If I can make the area global, I'm gonna be a happy camper. Look at this. What do you guys think you're doing? What do you guys think you're doing? Look at the boss. Bye. The moment they're down to half health, they're down to zero. <laughs> Look at this guy. Ooh, he's gone. <laughs> he's gone. Level up five levels. Reroll this. Mm, I'm gonna say area. I'm gonna say life. I'm gonna say reroll these. I'm gonna say do my place days. None of these, of course. Multicast with 36% damage. Mm, I think this is better. I think this is better. But uh, how much multicast do I have? 36. I'm gonna save with multicast. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna save with multicast. Uh, the reason being, of course, that uh, the more times... Oh, 48% multicast, let's go! <laughs> now I want to go with a crit chance. Can I roll it back, please? Like, the more multicast I have, the more times my spells actually multicast. As I said, the more time... We're gonna go here. Area on holy. Let's go. I want this to be global. I want everything to be global. Um, yeah, the more times I go with multicast, the more chances we have to just multi-trigger everything. Multicast on one of these. 36% uh, damage. I see the frailty, though. I'm gonna go through 6% damage there. 
frailty might be better, but I mean, it's blue, man. It's, it's a blue frailty. Definitely not a... Uh, let's get 8 block. It's a bit hard to realize how exactly block functions. Uh, if it's worth, like, math. I, I don't know what 8 block means. Multicast everything. I'm gonna take that. 20% chance. Very nice. I'm also not sure if I have, like... If, if the cooldown of these goes back to... Down to 1 second. Will that mean that this is gonna, like, fire 2 times at the same time? Is that a thing? Uh, the only way to see this is if I get it down to like 3 seconds, then then we're gonna be able to be sure. <laughs> Let's go. I saw the movement speed, by the way, but... Area, man. Area. <laughs> what is happening? What is happening? We're gonna go damage. Right? Yeah, we're gonna go damage. Uh, area. <laughs> what is happening? We are busted and lucky and super lucky, man. I'm like, okay, I got the rerolls to, to shape my luck. And game is like, oh, you wanna shape my your luck? Oh, how about I'm just gonna give you luck? Okay, today maybe not. Let's roll these. <laughs> Let's go. Well, I am shaping my luck now. Roll these. I'm gonna go the armor. Yeah, let's get the armor. Let's get block. The block is at 42%. If I can bring that up to 80. Oh man, this is the true infinite. The true infinite waiting to happen. Look at all the bosses trying to do something. Ooh, they're toast. Hey, look at this guy. He's toast. Everything is toast. Nothing can survive. 30 max life so we don't die randomly. Um, None of these, to be honest. I do have a poison, don't I? Yeah, here it is. We have two poisons. We don't need poison. Like, forget poison. Uh, once again, none of these, honestly. Uh, I'm gonna roll these two. I mean, should I banish Doom? Do I have Doom? Do I even have this once? At least once? Um, I don't see it. I don't think I have Doom, man. Yeah, I think I don't have this. I think I'm gonna take this. And uh, then just never take it again. Okay, I did have it because it didn't appear here. So, um, I, I, I'm not still not seeing where it is. I'm, I'm blind, man. It's too many. Let's go 3% crit chance. Uh, crit damage, actually, no chance. Uh, so, we're gonna banish Doom now. I don't really enjoy it as a spell. And I don't think it's good enough. Like, the opponents are dying so fast when they're low life. Doom, the good thing with Doom is that you amass Doom, so it's as if it's burning the left side of its life. Let's go fragility. Like, uh, if an opponent... Yeah, like, every damage in the game it hits the opponents from the right side. Doom is as if it hits them from the left side. Uh, but the thing is that when the time comes that Doom is supposed to pop the opponent, well, the opponent has already so many stacks of fragility and whatnot that he's just toasted already. Let me look at this. Dead, dead, dead. Like, what is Doom doing in this? Nothing. Doom is doing literally nothing in this scenario here. So, Doom is useless. Uh, yeah, Doom, Doom, this is completely useless. Uh, let's reroll these. Let's go with Magnet, the good one. I saw the frailty. I want the Magnet. Uh, should I banish this, this too? I definitely want to banish the crit chance when the time arrives. I think burn is decent-ish. I'm gonna roll these. Uh, Harry on last thing. Let's go. Let's go. Din, 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 din. I don't even know where the laser goes and everything. Just frailty. Let's go. Movement speed because why not? By the way, the game is just super lagging. Level up. One of these. Ho, ho, ho. Let's go frailty even more. The more frailty we go, the faster our opponents are gonna melt. Uh, in case you don't, as I said previously, it doesn't increase the chance of it applying. It just makes it so that more apply at the same time. It's still only 10%, but just more apply faster. Like, whenever that 10% actually rolls, multicast, let's go. <laughs> Damage, let's go. Oh, we're busted. How many brittle stacks? Six brittle stacks per attack. And also, let's not forget the fact that we're applying also cooldown reduction opponents, right? We make them unable to attack us. Roll this. Uh, none of these, to be honest. Roll this. Here we go. Movement speed. Even more. It doesn't even feel like I have that much movement speed. I'm ready now to start taking some of those Leviathans. That's also why I'm keeping them in. Yes, I am avoiding them. Uh, let's go with the armor, I would say. Yes, I am avoiding the Leviathans. But the thing is that the idea is, now that I have so much movement speed, I can pick up, you know, one Leviathan here or there. 10% damage and everything. It's always good. And uh, hey, you're toast. Bye-bye. Of course, we're not a burst build. Uh, but <laughs> might as well be... <laughs> And that is another wave cleared. Off to the next one. 22 minutes, by the way. 22 minutes. 50% area. I don't care. Why, why is it still raining meteors? Um, excuse me? That feels like a bug. I don't know what's happening. If it's gonna still rain meteors... Okay, it's not, not still raining. Nope, it is still raining. Or I guess this is normal. This is normal. <laughs> Let's do a corner strat and see how fast we're gonna spawn the bosses. Level up. I'm gonna go attack speed. Hey, look at this guy. Stay away from me. I guess... I don't know what the concept of that guy actually is. For what reason this exists. Roll these. Yeah, 45 damage. Let's go. 45 life. 420! Blaze it! Or I guess super laser it. Light beam it. Toasted. Toasted. 
toasted. Everything's toasted. Everything's toasted. Level up. None of these. Let's go. Multicast. Holy. Uh, damage on one of these randomly. 10% on everything. 45% on one of the 10% on everything. I'm gonna go 10% on everything. I think, yeah, it's like 60% damage overall. 50% attack speed. Because I want to try to get this thing down to a very low cooldown. In case it double casts or triple casts. Because if it double casts or triple casts, then attack speed is really important, right? By the way, as you can see at the top right, you can see if we are getting kills. Uh, block 12, that's decent, as always. Where's my block at right now? 46% chance to take zero damage. Very nice. Hey, look, that thing is just chasing us. Nope, none of these. Multicast. I have... Uh, yeah, there are some uh, birds chirping in the background. Owls, I guess. None of these. Ooh, 45 life. Where are you? I'm gonna go 45 life. I have so much area. 45 life again. What is happening today with the life drops? 510 life, by the way. Look at the... Yeah, I wasn't even close enough to that thing. And it died over here. It died over here! And I killed it from here! Do you understand how... Let's go! Now we're flying 6 brittle. Let's go! Let's go! We roll these area. Let's go! Oh, I love it. I love it. We're completely and utterly busted. This is over. This is... Uh, Leviathan 20% damage. Yeah, why not? Hey, look, opponents. Hey, they're gone. Hey, look at this guy. Bye-bye. Uh, damage on frontal. Seven brittle. I love it. Resilience. I hate this thing. Let's get poison. Although I could have rerolled there. Yeah, I should have maybe rerolled. Roll these. 5% actually. Let's go. Roll. Multicast 1%. Man. I'm, this is a god run, and I'm also lucky. Like, everything just lined up perfectly. We got a perfect god run. Level up. <laughs> I feel the Viathan the good one. Yes, 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 yes. Seven brittle still. Uh, I will, of course, need to invest a bit more into attack speed again. Uh, movement speed again. And these are toast. Level up. Area on last thing. Let's go. The only thing I hope is that this quote-unquote area is not gonna, you know, crash the PC. <laughs> uh... 8 brittle, the scaling is through the roof. <laughs> hey, let's go, more XP, even more XP. Hey, look, bosses. Hey, look, they're melting. Hey, they're gone. They have 120 million life, by the way. Like, th this is a trillion damage build. Uh, none of these, of course. Um, area or multicast? I think it will continue with the area idea. Uh, attack speed for sure. None of these. Yeah, attack speed, I would say. 3.9. Level up. Uh, from these choices, I'm gonna say... I guess burn. Oh, I haven't gotten burn once? Like, what? Okay. Okay. Next swap spawn bosses. And they are toast too. Off to the next endless we go. Off to the next endless, please. Off we go. Break everything. Wait for a moment that everything gathers onto us. Yeah, the permanent meteors, I guess, is a bug. Or, or they did it on purpose. Maybe they did it on purpose. Maybe that might be on purpose. Multicast against Relentless. Um, how much is my multicast? 324%. I think multicast is better. I really do believe this is better. Uh, the only thing I'm thinking is that you cannot easily find 20% here. Let's, let's go multicast. It's just, just better. It's factually better. Because I still am not sure about the attack speed thing, right? If I knew guaranteed for the attack speed thing, like th that you can cast twice and thrice, uh, maybe I was gonna go for it. But uh, I cannot possibly know right now, so... Level up. I'm gonna go with a smidge magnet. A smidge, I mean me medium magnet. Medium. And uh, yeah, 80 opponents only for bosses. So as far as I know, at some point it will be only bosses. At least that is what has been said in the pa <laughs> in the patch notes. Uh, let's go with multicast here. When, when this thing appeared, it says until uh, you... <laughs> That's six normal, of course. So, I, I have 300 life? What's happened? How much armor do I have? 48% less damage taken, 46% chance to take zero, and I somehow got hit for 150 something. So, let's go with two block. So, we definitely need to pay attention to uh, not getting hit again. Do some cycles around. Flippity floppity. 170 opponents. Let's go frailty. Very nice. That is always damage. I'm just waiting for opponents to spawn. They tried to spawn, but they disappear on the spot. Uh, let's go with. You know, damage. Excuse me, but where are the boss? Do you see that opponents just spawn and die? Like, it's just madness how powerful this is. Hey, look, bosses. Ooh, they have more than 200 million and they're just melting. They have two, more than 200 million and just melt. Uh, I'm gonna go with health because we lost a lot of health here. I, I see the expansive 20. 
Uh, 30% health is also good. Nope, that's a reroll. Uh, I'm gonna say block. I'm gonna say block again. This is a reroll. I'm gonna say, ooh, I'm gonna say uh, attack speed. So we maybe get to see if this is a difference maker. Area on holy. That's why I try to not get the 20% area, even though it's purple. It's like a trap. I can easily get 30% area from those holy spells get area. I don't need to invest in the 20% on everything. We roll these. Damage. Let's go. Let's go. Or right, bye bye everything. I will get snapped at some point from something, I'm pretty sure. Level up. I multicast is a good choice. We roll these. Ah, block is also a good choice. I need to, you know, conserve a couple of my rerolls, 50% damage and everything. Let's go. Is Brittle at 9? No, 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 We almost died there. Ooh, we almost lost one of the lives. Roll this. 8% block. Eh, it's not percent, actually. It's just a number. I don't know what the number exactly means. Are we done? Nope. We're still fighting opponents. You know what? I need to go and find those laser. The ah, I don't need to find anything. Opponents are about to die here. I'm going to say frailty. I'm going to say frailty again. And this is a reroll. Eh, max health, so we don't get sniped. And bye bye everything, bye bye everything. Shooting the laser bottom like bottom corner, and the opponents are toast. And um, yeah, we just beat everything. Level up, roll this, get some movement speed. Not that they really need it. I'm waiting for all the gems to pop. Very nice. Level up and multicast 100 percent. Might as well. Off to the next one. Off to the next one until we get to a point where even bosses just disappear. I think we're outscaling everything. Are we? Twelve thousand life on these guys. Okay, opponents have a, a billion life almost. Level up. Good chance. Crit damage, actually. And everything died. Like, one billion life opponent just, just died. One billion life opponents. One billion, right? They have, nine, like, not yet, though. Not yet, but in a bit. No, no, not white things. Once again, not really white things. Uh, I'm gonna go defense. Oh, yeah. He, yes, multicast. Multicast. They have a billion... Look at this. 1.5... 1.4 billion life bosses. Area. 1.4 billion life bosses. Melt. Melt. This is the melting build. Look at... Uh-oh. Goodbye. This lightning lady. Man, the opponents also have crazy attack speed. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go still area. XP gain still. We roll this. Definitely none of these. We roll this. What is this? 70%. Let's go. I wanted to see just how much crit chance we have. <laughs> Which is 70 150 kills for bosses, that's easy. We roll these. Here we go. I'm, I'm gonna say let's get the defense. So we don't die randomly. Come on, man. 150 opponents. Let's go. Hey, 2 billion life bosses. Let's see. Can these guys even handle us? I'm not sure they can. Bye bye, you guys. Bye bye, everything. And more bosses appeared. Bosses within bosses. Just everything melts. I hate the, la the lightning lady. And more bosses. <laughs> Uh, let's go with Magnet, reroll these, uh, damage, uh, defense, uh, damage, reroll these, and area of effect on magical, we continue. I just want to get to a point where I don't even need to target. Like, I really want to see that happen, like, <laughs> even more boss are spawning. Health, attack speed, yep, that's gonna happen, as I said. I'm just imagining the attack speed thing stacking, and then opponents are just gonna quadruple melt, and everything just died. Nope, we're still fighting bosses. <laughs> Roll these. Uh, none of these for sure. We roll these. Come on. Uh, once again, none of these. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go through some damage, of course. Uh, I saw the 20% attack speed once again, but still. this It happened to give us the 3% damage. Which I'm not gonna not take. I'm gonna go for agility. I'm gonna go movement speed. Roll these. I'm gonna go for the 5 health so we don't die randomly. Once again. Just a bunch of everything everywhere. Level up. None of that. Good chance. The small one. The lightning lady, man. The lightning lady. She's my most feared one. And that's done too. Off to the next one. Off to the next one. Waiting for the gems to pop. Escape or go deeper. Go deeper is my calling, man. Let's just continue spawning bosses after boss after boss after bosses. <laughs> this is madness. Highest difficulty, by the way. Highest difficulty in the game. Level up. This is for everybody that's uh, saying that, oh, I should play in higher difficulties. Because I have said before that I don't really want to go into higher difficulties because it doesn't allow me to test. But this was a very obvious busted build. So that's why I go into these higher difficulties. By the way, they have 5 billion life. What's the scaling? <laughs> Opponents be like, we are going to tank everything you do. <laughs> Sift be like, yeah, 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 yeah. You believe that, man. <laughs> 6 billion life opponents and we're still cutting through them. We're still... Let's go. 36% multicast. 
I would like some area, of course. I want to not be targeting anything. I mean, I don't even... I'm not even sure if I need to be targeting anything. As you can see, literally all the opponents do get hit. Like, all five bars at the top there, all of them are getting hit. So, bye-bye all of you. <laughs> more bosses just want more damage. I guess more movement speed. Roll this. Frailty. Let's continue just applying everything that we can. They now have nine... Wait, nine billion? That's it? I thought they had like 20 billion or something. I was assuming they had trillions of damn life. No, my billions is good too. Yeah, I think the area thing is actually happening the way I said it will. Like right now, I'm not sure if you can see it, but like, I mean, you are seeing it, but literally all of them are dying at the same time. I remove all these. Uh, let's get, I guess, defense. <laughs> let's get 3D health. Crit chance. Your first hit is a crit guaranteed level up. Roll these. Yes! 30% uh, damage. I'm moving so fast. Uh, let's go with a reroll. <laughs> yes! Continue giving me area. I want the area to be so big that I can just not even be close to the bosses. Which I'm not even sure if that is already the case. Uh, let's go 20% damage. It is a sizable amount. Let's continue. Of course it's not 30% damage or whatever you get from, you know, just getting a buff. Ooh, relentless. Multicast one of the lasers. Now let's go attack and everything. Maybe it is actually working. Like, maybe I have two lines of lasers at the same time, which I can't possibly know. Maybe. I need to ask the dev. Level up? Oh, 15% actually. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Level up. How much do these have? Three second cooldown. Defend. Area even more. Even more area. It doesn't feel like anything is not getting hit. 12 billion life, by the way. Thermal shock. Multicast. I don't care. Thermal shock. No, multicast. It really feels like they literally ne always get hit. Ah, maybe one of them just got a bit out for a moment there, because as you can see, one of them has like 8 billion life, while the rest have like 4 right now, 3. Some of them have 3, some have 4. So I'm still not exactly global. More bosses are spawning. <laughs> uh, let's reroll these. I saw the Leviathan, but still, ah, a bit sad. Let's get the block chance. As I said, block is, I think, the best one of these. 500 max life, by the way. I don't think any other build can even handle this madness here. Highest difficulty, highest scaling, highest everything. I'm even fighting some survivors as I see some typhoons. Multicast holy. Uh, or block. Let's go with block. Multicast holy. At the end of the day, it just came along anyway. Could have gotten multicast holy twice there. Hey, look, more bosses. <laughs> Only 15 billion life. Let's roll. Th these are billions, by the way, right? Because hundreds, thousands, millions, billions. So it's literally 15 billion life opponents right here. This is just insanity. Insanity incarnate. I lost 200. Oh, we're losing life, by the way. I'm only at, I only have 250 something life from, I guess, a thousand that I normally have. So we will lose a life here or there. Uh, what's my crit chance at? 75. Let's roll these. Uh, I'm gonna go crit damage. Once again, level up. Air on holy, of course. 20 billion life opponents right here, still melting. <laughs> you guys, this is this is just crazy, man. It's just it, it's. This is insane! This is literally insane! 20 million- 20 billion life opponents! Melt! Okay, 20 billion life opponents! I mean, they don't melt anymore, but they- they are actually going down! 20 billion life! It's insane! <laughs> not- not other build is even coming remotely close to this. And- and- and also isn't even remotely safe as this. Like, this is so extremely safe. I just shoot wherever and it just happens. Damage increase. I think I just lost a life or something. 50% damage increase. We're playing 10 stacks of brittle every time we attack them. This is crazy, man. By the way, the brittle stacks that are supposed to increase the enemy cooldown. Yeah, that, that doesn't do anything. <laughs> uh, let's go with this. Actually, how many stacks of brittle do I have on opponents? Because I think there is like a skill that takes however many stacks of brittle you have on opponents. And it just does an amount of damage exponential to that. Uh, I guess not multiplicative with that, not exponential. So there is a good chance. There is like literally a thing. And none of these. Uh, here we are there. Let's continue. So from 72,000%, we're gonna go up to... Ah, okay. Ah, okay, I see. 500,000%. I, I like it. Like, even, even trash mobs now survive. Ah, I see. 47 billion. 45 billion. And they attack almost instantly. I'm not sure if you saw that. Like, the moment I touched, I were close to them, instantly got hit. Uh, not got hit, actually, I avoided it. Uh, okay, some opponents right now are not getting hit. So it seems like I'm still not completely global. Attack speed, yeah, we're gonna go with 20% attack speed. This time, yes. This time, actually, yes. Three second cooldown. 
do they multi do they cast more than once i'm not sure i'm not sure like if i bring them if if i bring the laser down to one second will it literally be stacking on top of stacking on top of stacking on top of stacking because this is i think the way out if i can get the cool the second down to the cooldown down to 0 0.5 or something which is very hard to do of course but if i can bring the cooldown down to 0 point to one second then uh, and then i have like five lasers multicasting at the same time all together everything together then maybe then my damage is just gonna become the madness madness the maddest damage around oh we got some kills here by the way we are already destroying these guys damage on some one of these lasers one of these lasers Gonna get the damage boost. Oh, we 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 are three of life. We got just got hit for 400 damage. Multicast magical, and I just lost because I went over the poisons. That that's on me. That's on me. Uh, let's go crit chance. Although, why do I even go crit chance, man? The opponents have a guarantee. You know what? I need to banish crit chance. What am I doing? Like I'm applying dazed. The opponents have like 300 stacks of dazed. They they are guaranteed gonna get crit no matter what. They always get crit all the time every time. I don't need to continue investing into crit chance. I don't know why I didn't think about that this whole time. I don't have the rune that says my crit chance does more damage. Let's roll these. Uh, pff, I guess a poison. I don't even know, man. I don't even know. 14 life. I need to avoid the poisons, man. Alexi. Alexi the poison guy. Other bosses are surviving. We're still moving around. We lost 49 million. 75 billion life. Let's go here. Uh, frailty, in my opinion. Area of effect, definitely. <laughs> I still want the global effect. I see the 70. Yeah, I see some opponents not even getting hit. I don't know why I'm trying to hit the lasers exactly where the opponents are. As if that even matters. <laughs> it doesn't matter where I'm shooting at. As long as it's central. Like, as long as I'm trying to hit as, as much as in the center of the stage as possible. <laughs> I don't care where the bosses are. I don't care where anything is. Level up. Uh, frailty. Let's continue with that idea. The more we apply of those, the more percentage-based damage they take. Let's roll these. Magnetic. A couple more levels. Why not? Why not get a couple more levels? Uh, we have gotten 10, of the, uh, 10 out of the 55 enemies here. 10 out of the 55 bosses. I think this is going to be my first trillion damage run. My very first trillion damage run. I mean, this is a guaranteed trillion at this point. I would assume, right? Because, uh, yeah, we are, we are just dealing with 100 billion life opponents here. Oh, just getting 10 of these should be a trillion already. Uh, so let's see if we can get 10 trillion damage. <laughs> It's just crazy. It's just crazy and I love it. Thermal shock, the time has come. Burn applies uh, ice and ice applies fragility. That is as if I took... Uh, well, burn is 25%, so half of that is 15%. Uh, no, 12%. 12, 12.5 12 and then half of that is 6%. It's as if I took a 6% chance to apply fragility. Awesome, right? 6% <laughs> chance to apply a stack of fragility. Because applying frost, of course, is useless. As you see, opponents don't really care about getting slowed down. And spin to win. Spin to win. Level up. 50% attack speed with the same with the same idea with the same thought process that those lasers might be multicasting while they're already casting uh, I guess casting while they're already casting why would I say multicasting level up 24% what, what are my defenses at 57% damage taken and 50% chance 61% chance to block so uh, we are pretty good at defense like pretty pretty good at defense let's hope my PC is not gonna burn down by the way Really hope my PC is not gonna burn down. I also have to say I really enjoy the fact that because this is very minimalistic. Um, whoa, whoa! How did I not get it there? So because this is very minimalistic, the animation of this, I um, yeah, it, I don't need to reduce the graphics. And honestly, I really enjoy that I don't need to reduce the graphics, and we're just you know using what we have. I disagree though with the fact that it's not spawning bosses anymore. Like the dev introduced like a cap. I mean, it makes sense that they introduced the cap. The cap is five. As you can see here, we're only fighting five bosses, and the moment one dies, another one just arrives instantly with 80,000 life or something. <laughs> 80 billion life. So, uh, very enjoyable. <laughs> uh, boss spawns, a boss uh, appears 10% attack speed. Oh, we got hit. 55 damage taken. Level up. I'm gonna say multicast. Just continue onwards. Whoop, I I'm in the middle of death here. Let's, let's get away from this. This is insane. This is the fact that this is the highest difficulty is what's insane. Like the fact that we got to this endless—that's th nothing. But the fact that this, uh, we are in the highest difficulty possible, and we are just you know scrolling through. Yes, of course we will die because it lasts a bit too long. But uh, still, this is the highest difficulty possible, and we just we're just scrolling. We're just scrolling through, man. This is this is very easy. Other than the fact that sometimes I get stuck in the middle there. And the opponents just attack extremely often. <laughs> Let's roll these. Area. 
Because I want everything to be hit all the time. Because as you see, this thing is not getting hit right now. Like, there is an opponent somewhere on the map that doesn't get hit. I need this laser to always hit everything all the time. Like, uh, not, not having, not, not doing DPS is, is really bad. Why is that? Where, where is the stupid golden? 100 billion life opponents have arrived. I have 40 life. We are slowly closing into the end of my second life. So, uh, eliminate Kayathas. Let's go with attack speed here. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. And we lost another life, 41,000 damage. So, let's maybe stay away. As you can see here, uh, the more away I am from the center, the less opponents I attack at the same time. Look at this, we're attacking one right now. So, th that's why I try to stay close to the middle. Level up. 36% crit damage. That's very nice. And I'm almost dead. This is my last life. I think we're gonna go down here. Um, it is the end. We still have like 3D something bosses to go through until we are... Yeah, we got sniped from the lightning. If it wasn't the lightning, then what would it be? It's always the lightning, man. And those prestige levels just flew through the roof there. First of all, I have to say we unlocked Holy Rune. Uh, we did 100,000 million billion trillion. We did 2 trillion damage. My DPS... My DPS was... Um... I, I guess this is a comma, right? So, because there is a comma here too. So, the, my DPS was 100,000 million. I was doing 1 billion damage per second. Okay? Can you, like, fathom how much this is in this game? It's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> and we also got a bunch of resources. I love it. This, this was a, such, such a good run. Such an awesome run. I, I just love it. The most bust run in the universe. And, uh, yeah, if you want to just break this game and beat everything, this is how you do it. Literally, just do this run and you will, uh, yeah, you will just break everything. You don't even need to get the rerolls. So of course, they're going to help you a lot. But just, just get, like, just get the singularity focus and get this laser build. And as you saw, we literally destroyed the final difficulty of the game, even into depth 5 of Endless. So this is just insanely busted. Uh, of course, if, if this was uh, like not the, um, the highest difficulty we would have been going against, uh, yeah, we would have gotten like to Endless 15 or 20, I would assume. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, drop a like, subscribe to the channel. If you want to see more, you can subscribe too. We're just going to break this game a bunch of different ways. Now, I'm not going to... Most likely, tomorrow's run is not going to be this busted, uh, of course. Uh, but um, hopefully, you know, we're going to... Uh, I'm going to explore and find something else that's also as much as powerful. And if not, it's just going to be, you know, a vanity run. Sometimes I do, like, vanity runs. I just decide, oh, this skill is fun. Let's try to do that skill six times. And we're going to see how it goes, you know. Like this spin to win yesterday. It was a very fun run, but it wasn't as busted as this. Anyway, that is going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, I already said that. I'm sorry. Thanks for all the Patreon membership supporters. And as always, thanks for watching. And see you guys around.